Hi, my name is Daniel Foley Carter of seo-audits.io and today I'm presenting a very simple uh, tip and something that you can do to check for index consistency. So index consistency can be applied to HTTP, HTTPS. It can also be applied to trailing slash www dot versus non www dot. And basically index consistency means that for every protocol that you use, it needs to be consistent, consistently used throughout the website. So what I mean by that is that if we have a website, this is just one of my mess around websites. Uh, if we have a website, what we're going to typically want to do is choose, are we going to use trailing slash or non trailing slash? Are we going to use www dot versus non www dot? And effectively um, <coughs> making sure that those are consistent used is key. So once you choose a pro protocol, then you need to make sure that on a site crawl that that protocol uh, is is um, consistent. So what I mean by that is if you say, okay, well, we're going to use a non-trailing slash configuration on the website, then what you're going to expect to see when you crawl the site is no trailing slash URLs, with the exception being the home page. So one thing that we can do is First of all, if we're doing training slash non-training slash, um, we simply want to see if we add a training slash and we copy the URL and we hit enter, we should see it default to non-training slash and equally the other way around if you're doing it. And what we want to do using HTTP status.io is just to make sure that if that is requested, we're served the 301. Unfortunately, from time to time, sometimes things can be slow or it could also throw an error, um, which can happen with some websites, in which case you would simply just Google server header checker and you could also use the one from SEO book. Once you've checked, you can see here that we've got a 301 moved permanently, which is correct. Now, one other thing that I always stress uh, people to do is sometimes um, uh, stray URLs can appear. Um, this happens predominantly if you decide that you're not going to use trailing slash, but trailing slash returns HTTP 200, then what can happen is if a third party site links to one of your URLs using a protocol that you do not use, Google can crawl and index that. So one thing that we can do that is also very simple is in Search Console, if we select last 16 months and we select page, then what we're going to do is we're going to select custom regects and then matches regects. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to do full stop, then we're going to do star, then we're going to um, do backslash and then forward slash and then effectively what we're going to finish that with is the dollar sign. Okay. <clears throat> now, what we do is we use this on matches and then doesn't match. Okay. If you see URLs on both, then generally there could be uh, an active error. <clears throat> so if we click apply. And we click pages. Okay. So applying ends with trailing slash, we only see the home page, and the home page is the only page that is exempt from this. So all home pages have a trailing slash. Um, if you see other URLs here and your site is non-trailing slash, then what you want to do is take those URLs, HTTP status check them, and then what you want to do is make sure that moving forwards, they are enforced. Um, typically on a WordPress website or anything PHP, you would do that via something called HT access. So if we do that and then we do it in reverse, then what we're expecting to see is all our URLs, which we can see. So if both return URLs where the, um, where the protocol that you're not using shows more than one URL, typically the homepage, then there's generally an issue. Okay, 
So you can use this to find those. Effectively, what you also want to make sure at the same time is that other protocols are dealt with. For example, this could be that on the website at the same time as non-trailing slash, you could have inconsistent use of www and non-trailing slash and the same even as far as HTTP, HTTPS. What is absolutely crucial whenever you're doing anything like this is that you do not find inconsistent URLs on your site. Now, one other thing that I would point out and what is really easy to do is if you use Screaming Frog SEO Spider and you crawl your site. Once your crawl is complete, what you'll want to do, okay, is find any URLs that might be inconsistent. So for example, let's say on this buy Wagobi site, I see a URL that has a trailing slash. What you can do is for any URLs that are part of the crawl that are inconsistent with your default protocol, you would click it, okay? So let's pre pretend that this URL had a trailing slash. You would click it, and then you could simply click in links, okay? And what this will do is this will show you all the pages that contain a link to the destination page. And if these links have a destination with a trailing slash in, then you know that you need to go through and correct to resolve. Now, some people say, yeah, but we, we've got redirects you need a completely clean crawl. So what you don't want is you don't want uh, internal links pointing to a non-default protocol and then relying on a 301 redirect to basically mean that the crawl you know, doesn't include loads of broken links. When you should be updating all of your internal links so that they are consistent and do not rely on internal redirection. Follow me if you, uh, if you would like more regular SEO tips. And do check out the webinars at seo-audits.io.